It all started when I was about, well, I just turned 17, so roughly 17 years ago. Um, I bought a car, and he was known to everybody in the area as being the person to get cars from. He was a friend of the family as well. Um, my wife went to school with him. Um, so, obviously, being a friend, that's the best people to go to, you'd think. Um, to bought the car off him for £250. And started off where I was just paying him £30 a week. Um, after a couple of weeks, it, the payments increased. He wanted more. Um, and then a couple of weeks later, he wanted more. It went from 30 to 50 to 60 to 70. Um, and then because obviously I was using money to pay him instead of buying food and thing and gas, electric, paying the rent, I then had to lend more money off him to cover them. And he'd chuck interest on top. Um, and if you couldn't pay him one week, he'd double what I owe him. It just spiralled out of control. He started to give threats, saying that if we didn't pay him, he was going to hit us or start taking stuff out of the house, which he did do. Um, took kids' playstations, took the, any console we got for him. Um, he took car off us. And there was one occasion where I was ill. He, I was on the city and he just started laying into me in front of my kids. I was always stressed. Um, I was working all the hours God sent, doing two jobs, sleep for what, two, three hours a day, living on Mars bars, just to get the money to pay him. Um, I had a mortgage at the time, which I should have been able to afford to pay, but because I was having to pay him £200 a week, um, we lost the house. Um, me and my wife, because obviously because we lost the house, because we didn't have the money, we were always arguing, splitting up. I mean, I had a heart attack because of all the stress, I couldn't pay him. I lost two jobs at the same time, tried to commit suicide. Tried to hang myself in the loft, um, but I was stopped. So I went to the local park, and if it wasn't for the police, I'd have probably gone ahead and done it. It affected the kids as well because they just wouldn't go out in case we argued again or in case I tried doing something stupid again. Everything was a result of the loan shark. It just wasn't a life. Every time we asked, it was over £9,000, which was the main figure he just stuck with. Um, other than that, it was just, you, you owe me a lot. We, I mean, when I got retired off due to will health, I got a lump sum of um, £8,000, which I give him the majority of, and we're still in nine grand. Uh, even when I was in contact with the Lone Shark team, and I was still paying him, but keeping a record of it, every other week I'd ask him, and it was still £9,000, regardless of what I was giving him. Once I sat down and worked it out with the Lone Shark team, I'd actually repaid around about £90,000 over, over the period of 17 years. 17 years of sheer hell. It, it come to a point where he wasn't just threatening me, he was threatening my wife, threatening my kids. Uh, me and my wife had an argument. I, I walked out and moved out and because nobody knew where I was and no one, he knew I was going around seeing my kids on the Fridays and he'd sit outside the house and wait for me. When I turned up, he turned around and said, um, if you don't pay me, I'm going after your wife and after your kids. And that was the final straw. I'm really glad I reported the loan shark. Like I said, I should have done it 15 years ago. The, the day that he was he got arrested was a big relief because I knew from that moment onwards I wouldn't have to pay him nothing, and all that stress was going to go. When he and when he was um, in prison for it, it was just unbelievable. I mean, I nearly broke down and cried because I just knew everything. It was all over then. Okay, yeah, there was still a little bit of fear because of the people he knows, but with the support from the Lone Shark team, which we've still got after a year, and which will carry on for as long as we need it, there's, you just know that you're not going to ever have any problems. Once, once I contact the Lone Shark team, um, they just give me all of the confidence and just, you can actually start to get your life back on track. They just stuck by you 100% and everything they promised, just they delivered.
they made, they just made sure no harm come to you and that you were fully aware of what was going on all the time. Now it was absolutely great. I mean, we're doing things as a family. We're going on holiday, which we hadn't done in 17 years. Um, I mean, we went to Blackpool. We took 600 pound with us, and it just wasn't an issue. Um, this year, we're going back to Blackpool. We're taking the kids down to Dorset as well, and we can just do things that we've never done before. Buy things. We don't have to worry about the cost or anything. Doing our shopping, we don't have to budget. We're not having to take a calculator and making sure we don't go over thirty pounds because if we do, we can't pay for it. We're not running out of gas, electric. I mean, we want a new cooker. I just went out and drew the money at the bank. That's just absolutely fantastic now. So much different. Nobody needs to go around living in fear all the time of being beaten up because they can't pay money out that they realistically don't have to pay out. There's other places to go. You don't need to go to Lone Shark to charge the earth for interest rates. Use credit union. People need to call the illegal money lending team if they've lent money from a Lone Shark because at the end of the day, they, they're paying back money that they don't have to pay back. Don't, don't be frightened to speak out. They're the ones that's doing all the illegal stuff, not you. They're, you're not going to get into trouble for it. They're the ones that are going to get in trouble for it. And your life will be so much better if you stand up to them. No harm will come to you because the Lone Shark team will make sure of it. Uh, even worse than the first time that he arrived, because um, I had my daughter with me at the time, and he was so intimidating, and his other three that came with him surrounded me in my own home. Now, that was very, very frightening. Well, I mean, I am on, I am on the sick, but I've not got that pressure now of having to pay him and wondering when he's going to turn up, if my goods are going to be taken, uh, and any other aspects of his way of getting his money. It was just a weight lifted, absolute weight lifted. He was controlling my life, he was telling me when I could have, couldn't have my money, when he wanted money off me, more or less just bullying me all the time, I didn't have the confidence to say to him, go away, do you know what I mean? But now I feel well better, proper better than what he's done, turn my life right round. Well I work, like I said, I work, do 16 hours a week in next, my house is perfect, I've got everything, my kids are stable in school, I've got an happy life, I've got my licence, getting a car, I'm going to buy my house, and he can't do nothing to me because I've got confidence now, so I'm alright. <laughs>